Some Muslims to leave the millah, they can't solve them. Education is key. So when the Quran says Jesus is a word from God, right? Kalimatun min Allah. It is the angel who announces this to Maryam alayhi salam. So Jesus' title, word from God or word of God, is related to his miraculous birth. So that's number one. It has nothing to do with his supposed hypostatic or personal pre-eternality. And this is significant because I would argue that the Quran here is not borrowing a middle platonic term or concept uh, like the Gospel of John apparently does. But rather the Quran is continuing the established Jewish miracle birth literary tradition. The established Jewish miracle birth literary tradition. How so? Well, in the book of Genesis 1814, Sarah laughs and says, how shall I have a child when I am old? Or in the Quran, Ya wa a'alidu wa na'ajuzun wa hadha ba'li shaykha, inna hadha la shay'un ajib. But what do the angels say to Sarah in Genesis? In the Torah, is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything too hard for the Lord? But that's English. That's a translation. In Hebrew, it says, Hayipala'il me Adonai davar. Literally, is any word too hard for the Lord? Davar means word, kalima. In Greek, this is translated as chrema, not lagos. But what does davar mean in the context of Genesis? It means an edict, a matter, or a decree. So what are the angels actually saying to Sarah? Is anything that God decrees, is any affair that God wills too hard for him to do? This is, this is the meaning. In fact, Wilhelm Jesenius, in his famous uh, lexicon, says that one of the words in Arabic that is equivalent in meaning to davar is amr, ta'jabina bin amrillah, as the angels say to Sarah in the Quran. Do you wonder at the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala?